Why are you calling me? What do you want? Get her stuff together. What do you mean she's not there? Who picked them up? A man? Just any man shows up and you hand him my daughter? He said he was her uncle. Why would you not call the parents to check on that? No, I'm not going to relax. I, I'm going to call the cops right now. Never mind. I'm sorry. Hi. It is so good to see you. Are you okay? Sweetie, why don't you go get your snack? It's in the kitchen. <laughs> what were you thinking? You can't just pick her up at camp like that. Oh, is that but Jonathan, something? you didn't even call me. You can't just take whoa, her and pick whoa, her up. Whoa, like hold up. I called and I said that she was gone. Annie, calm down. She had a dentist appointment. You remember? What? You asked me to pick her up today for her appointment. God. Why did you call the camp first? What did you think happened? Um, uh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. I didn't mean to freak out on you. I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. Hmm. You don't seem fine. It's just stress with all this hospital stuff and, you know... Well, in this home now, and she's fine, so everything's okay. Yeah. It's just with Ian and, and Spike being at risk, I guess it just it made me want to hold Emma that much tighter. You know what I mean? Annie, what's really going on? Totally not logical. I know. Mm -mm. It's just, uh, yeah, I almost lost Emma once, and all this stuff going on with the boys just kind of brings it all back. It was... An unnecessary freak out. It will not happen again. Okay. Did you call Ryan? No. Th there's really no reason to tell Ryan about this. No reason to make him worry over nothing. Nothing. If I'm not mistaken, when I walked in the door, you were on the phone with 911. It's crazy. I know. A little bit. Yeah. Annie, what's really going on? What are you afraid of? I was worried about Emma. I forgot about her dentist appointment, so I picked up the phone. And you dialed 911. You didn't think to to call Ryan or to check with Rachel, me? Just stupid. I know. But there's no reason to bother Ryan with it. I got carried away. That's all. Okay. If you do have a problem, you tell Ryan about it and he'll fix it. There's no problem. I'm fine. Well, okay, but fine is watching TV. You know, fine is going to work. Fine is not, is not calling the cops. I know. So I skipped a few steps. If you can't tell Ryan about it, you can run it by me. Annie, anything you need. Jonathan, I'm fine. Really. Okay, I'm sorry. It just seemed to me like, um, like you need someone to talk to right now. What we all need right now is good news from the hospital and a few nights of sleep. That's all. You do not have to be strong all the time. I'm not. Believe me. You're not. You've held this entire family together. I saw you with Spike. You were great. You made sure that Ryan kept his eye on the positive. I wish I could do more. We all do. But you, you have been Ryan's angel. No, no, don't answer that. I'm going to handle this. Who is this? 
It's your brother. That's a nice way to answer the phone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ryan, hi. Some kids were making prank calls. Is Annie around? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Hi. Hi. Look, I I'm, I'm looking for Kendall. Um, have you seen her or have you heard from her or anything? Isn't she still in the hospital? No. We can't find her or Spike. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. What? Why is that good? I'm sorry. What did you say? Are you all right? What's going on? I'm uh, yeah, fine. Come on, Annie. If you know anything. No, nothing. All right. So Kendall didn't mention another doctor. Uh, no. As far as I know, all Spike's doctors are in the hospital. All right. Okay. Well, if you hear from her, just let me know as soon as you can. All right. This is important. I have to find her. I don't want to get into why right now. I'll, I'll check in later. Annie, are you sure that all you need is a good night's sleep? Uncle John, come make some cookies. <laughs> okay. You know that? That is a good idea. Cookies would make me feel a lot better. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go, go, bake. Take away. I'm gonna tidy up around here. Come here, you. All right, off we go. Come on, pick up. Pick up. He hasn't left. You're sure about that? Okay. Thank you. Well, we hope these help. Oh, great. Thank you for for worrying about me, but I'm fine. Really. Okay. I'm going to take a couple for the road, okay? Because <laughs> I got to go. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. Sweetest little girl in the world. Sweeter than any cookies around. <laughs>